Hi, I'm Maddie from Close Smart, and I want to introduce you to a new pattern that we have today called Animal Friends. And you're probably familiar with our honeycomb hex patterns, and this is like an extension of that. So not an intuitive pattern, but it is a really fun and really easy pattern to make. So uh, these are a couple of our patterns that we already have using the honeycomb hex grid interfacing. Yeah. And here are some of the projects that we've made with it. One is this coat. Now it's not the coat pattern, it's the design that's on the coat that we have made with the honeycomb hex. And you can see that it's in rows. You can do anything uh, with honeycomb hex that you can think up or draw. Here's the bear. The bear is gonna, I call him blue bear. And I have, he's gonna be on the cover of the animal friends pattern. He is the first one I did. I actually did a brown bear years ago and um, had, had so much fun with it that we've expanded more. This is a table runner. This table runner is on the Honeycomb Hex instructions. And that is a great introduction to the Honeycomb Hex as well. Uh, this is a quilt that I made and Lavelle quilted. She's videoing right now. <laughs> And um, this was a Christmas quilt with diamonds, and these little trees were made with the honeycomb hex too. And I just love the trees. And the holly is also made. Okay, so the noise you were hearing was uh, Benny playing with his little pig, uh, the background noise, and we didn't we didn't count on that for the video. So that's the explanation for that. So. Um, the other, last I was talking about the trees, those are super easy to do with the honeycomb hex and the diamonds. And these are diamonds too. These are all layers on top of each other. It's so easy, but it doesn't look easy. Uh, this lion is all, if you see his mane here, that's a layer of fabric. This second layer, third layer, fourth layer, and this little bridge for the nose call that the dog bone because it kind of looks like a dog bone. Um, I've designed in a little heart for all the animals, but those are choices that you have. So you can design anything. If you don't like my designs, you can design your own too. So what I'm going to do is show you um, how you take the pattern, you print the pattern off, it comes in 10 pages, and once it's printed off, there's these little registration marks. And if any of you have done clothing patterns, it's the same. You just match the registration marks. And I usually put just a piece of tape at each registration mark. And you see these dashed lines. These, there's more to the bear too. There's 10 pages. So you take your interfacing then, which is our honeycomb hex grid. And... There's Benny again. <laughs> Maybe Amanda, you would pick Benny up for me. <laughs> so, okay, in this video, it's just a little different than our usual videos, you get to meet Amanda also. <laughs> so Amanda works in the um, warehouse with us and she does all kinds of shipping, helps with printing, she does, she's amazing. And Thank she's you. gonna take this little friend okay. off the set. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. Oh, goodness. All right, so you could do your own animal. Um, I made a dog for my friend. That's on the back of the cover of the instructions. Uh, her dog has one ear up and one down, and we made the honeycomb hex dog to match that. So I probably will do one of Benny, and you could do one of your dog. So what you do is you lay the interfacing right over this, and then you just draw on the dashed line, and you always start with the outside dashed line because, and you go inwards, so that's easy. That means that you can use one panel of interfacing for a whole, for a whole project. So that's about that big. And so you're gonna take, and you're gonna cut out the interfacing and lay it on fabric, and then you're gonna sew at the inside lines. 
And this is just an introduction video, so you want to get the instructions to see specifically how you do that. Um, there's also another video online that is um, a little flower. And if you're not familiar with this method, that's a great little video to watch. And I have put that in both places. I have it on the Honeycomb Hex page. That's this one and the product page and I also have it on the new Animal Friends page. So you'll get two videos on the Animal Friends page and you'll get the Honeycomb Hex flower also. So um, here's one, again, whatever you can draw or design, you can do. So this one, the dashed line would have been right outside that. You lay it on your fabric and then you would stitch on those lines I showed you, and then you trim it and turn it. And you can see here the little amount that's left after I cut out the next dashed line. So this might not make a lot of sense right now, but really once you start it, it's so fun and so easy. And then you can cut out the piece that was left in there, the layers, so you get those back. So when you get those layers back, you can use those for the smaller layers. So you're using your fabric very wisely. Uh, when you press this, so my next step here, this is the zigzag around here. Okay, so my next step on this one is to press this to this. And I just line it up by my eye. Um, you could use a piece of interfacing that has, uh, that has it already, um, you know, like you could take your interfacing and put it like that. Sometimes I cut little templates to do that. Um, and then you're going to press it and I press it out so that the interfacing does not show. I like to use this sheet um, made by Bear Thread Designs, the stick and press. And when you um, put your pattern on top, um, you don't want to really press around the very outside edge, but you want to, because the more you press, the more the glue dots on the back dissipate a bit. But you want to press your new piece. So you press this and you kind of push outwards. The stick and press is nice to hold your piece tight so that it's not sliding. And uh, anyways, then you end up with all of your layers stitched together as in the bear. So the layers of the bear are this was done first with the outside line and then this was the next layer and then this was the next layer and then the eyes and the nose are put on top of those. So those are the only true hexes in this entire pattern. It's just three hexes. So it's that's what makes it so easy. And then there's a super easy way to quilt it and um, that's shown online too, so, and in the instructions. And you don't have to quilt it that way. You could quilt it any, any way you want. The, um, like this one, see how this is quilted? This is not quilted with the hexes in it, except for the trees have it. The holly, something different. So lots of options there. And then the lion, the body of the lion. This one's not finished yet. I was going to put some waves in the background there, or clouds. And, um, but the bottom I quilted with that easy hexagon technique that I show online. And I also did the face that way. But the mane, I went and did some hair, hair lines <laughs> so that he would look um, more like a lion, I guess. This one too, as the little ears, uh, which was a relatively new idea we came up with, um, which is explained in the pattern too, if you wanna have some soft pink ears or something like that. Now, the last thing I would like to show you is our giraffe. So the giraffe, and the, oh, and here's a pillow. This pillow is done the same as this table runner. You can see there the difference in colors, how different that looks. So now I'll take a look at the giraffe. And you can see that the giraffe's face is in layers. There's the yellow layer. These horns are called osicons or osicons, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, are put on top of this. And the ears are put on the side. There's the eyes. And let's take this off so you can see how these layers work. 
Um, so this one is not zigzagged yet. So this one's ready to go on next. And then this one, the middle. Eyes and the nose. And then I wanted some, well, I've got a mane. Now the mane is tucked under. So depending on the design, you sometimes would tuck under a piece of fabric and sometimes you would put it over, but that's all in the instructions. And then for the spots, um, I decided to do flowers on this. You wouldn't have to, you could do anything you want on there. You could even do just the hexagons if you wanted. So um, I hope you enjoy the animal friends as much as I've enjoyed designing them. They're really fun. There's a frog, there's a elephant, there's um, dog, lamb. And uh, I've been asked to do some other ones, so I'll try to get to some more. And the best thing, I think, is that this pattern that's online, so you want to purchase the pack, which has the instructions, but these patterns online are all complimentary. So you can print those off, and we, are, we will be getting more. If you only see a few, just keep watching. So I really hope you enjoy the hexagons. I hope you design some of your own and send us pictures too. We'd love to see that. So have a great day, and thanks so much for watching this.